Hello everyone and Merry Christmas. I am, we are visitors on the Lekongwen territory. I raise my hands in thanks to the Creator and to the people whose unceded territory we gather, live, work, and play on. As a community of faith, we commit ourselves to reconciliation and healing. Today, I'm at Marigold Park near my home. I am seated by a 350-year-old fir tree, the root system. Sadly, it was blown over during a windstorm a few years back. It's an interesting place to sit as we consider new life coming from a dark place. We gather in our homes, online, as a community. We pause for 40 minutes or so on this holy night. Know that wherever you are, you are connected to us and we are connected to you. Join us and sing along with all of our favorite hymns this evening. Just think you can sing as loud as you would like and grab a candle so that we can light it together as a community during our favorite hymn, Silent Night. I give thanks for our music provided by Angela and Diego, Jennifer and Adam. We have more talent pouring in from our community our readings and characters are from our Fairfield United Church family. We gather as a community of seekers in this dark night. We follow a star, something that calls us to love, to find God within us, in our neighbor, in creation herself. At the heart of our Christmas story is the presence of the divine who is willing to be born into the darkest of places, one who is willing to take on flesh, bone, and breath. This story is an affirmation of the material and shares the divine presence is not distant or detached or indifferent. It's about a God, one who chooses to come among us as one of us. Christmas time is a time of the year when we consider our personal connection with the seen and the unseen. This Christmas, this holy season, as we isolate from friends and family, this rings true. The whole world is silent and waits for new life. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God. Oh, 
sacred story begins. This night is like no other night. This night is a night to share a sacred and mysterious story. We dream and sing our way to Bethlehem. The little town of Bethlehem we seek this night sits on the hill some ten miles south of Jerusalem. In the center of this town is a small inn. One night so long ago, Bethlehem was overflowing with people seeking a place to eat and a place to sleep. Behind a small inn is a dark stable. Here we find a grey donkey chewing his barley and broken straw and a weary brown cow who leans and rests against stable after a long hard day of ploughing soil in the valley. A sheep nearby is cuddled in the straw, yawning and nearly asleep. All is still and quiet in that dark stable in the little town of Bethlehem.
As night falls, two weary travelers slowly come up the road. There is a very young woman who is about to be a mother. Her husband guides the donkey she is riding. Joseph and Mary are from Nazareth. They have been on the road for six long days to come to this town where King David was born a long time ago. On this night, they have come to the town like so many others because the Roman Emperor wants each person accounted for so he can collect tax from them. It is late, very late. Joseph and Mary are very tired. They wonder, where will they sleep? Mary is in labor. Joseph is frantic, looking for a safe place for Mary to give birth. Joseph knocks on the door of the inn. The innkeeper shares there is no room. He directs Mary and Joseph to the stable in the back with no other place to go. They decide to go to the dark stable with the animals. It is in the dark stable they find warmth from the animals and shelter from the The stars in the night sky brighten. All creation holds its breath. Suddenly, from the dark stable, we can see a great light, and we hear the cry of a newborn child. Mary gently wraps the baby in a blanket and lays the child in a manger, a feed box that his father has filled with straw. Come a storm with him. 
baby's hand. Did you know that your baby boy has walked with angels strong? And you kiss the little baby, and you kiss the face of God. In the hills outside Bethlehem, shepherds are watching their shadowy sheep by night. All at once, the dark is lost in light, and in the midst of this light is something even brighter. The faces of angels. The fearful shepherds hear music, and a voice says, Don't be afraid, we're just angels. Do not be afraid. Listen, I bring you news of great joy. A joy to be shared with all of my people. Today, in the town of Bethlehem, a Savior is born. He is Christ the Lord. Then more angels appeared, a whole heavenly host of them, praising God and singing, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to all people everywhere.
The shepherds run with joy across the fields to Bethlehem, to the stable behind the inn. The stable is filled with animals and the Holy Family. They creep and crawl forward, overwhelmed with mystery. And, just as the angel said, they find a baby in a manger, warm in the center of all that love. A while later, three camels came plodding up the road to Bethlehem. They have come from the east, from as far as the Arabian Desert, perhaps from as far as the Caspian Sea. Camels carry on their backs the wise ones, or the Magi. The Magi follow the star by night to find a leader who was supposed to change the world. The Magi fell to their knees and gave thanks for this light born in the darkness, this hope for a broken world, the Christ child. To honor this great light, they presented gifts of bright gold, sweet smelling frankincense and bitter myrrh. The Magi's journey ends with a great mystery, a baby, new life possible.
a long time ago. A rising star signaled a great birth. Those who watched the night sky perceived this light, trusted its call, and welcomed the mystery of new life. This light flared within the life and work of Jesus. Those who gathered around Jesus were amazed by his teaching, captivated by his wisdom, touched by his compassion, and changed in his presence. When they asked him who he was, he simply said, I am the light. This light shone in and through Jesus' life. This light shone in the lives of your ancestors. This light shines within each of us. All of us who have gathered here in this dark night, this light shines. This light lives. It lives in my heart and it lives in your heart. This light lives within the magnificent and creative universe and joins us together. This light claims all of us as beautiful and beloved. And this inheritance calls upon us to shine in all the dark places. Amen.
This holy night and our sacred story is an opportunity to pause, to think about the gifts of the darkest night. May we come to know the wisdom of the deepest dark, where we find hope, peace, joy, and love, where they go to be reborn for new life possible in our hearts, in our minds, in this beautiful and broken world. As a people, we are a people of blessing. As we continue this journey of life, may we be reminded of the holy in the midst of the ordinary, the mystery buried in the everyday, and the power that is present in the vulnerable and the humble. Go now and shine in the darkest places. Lend your light to the world. May the Christ, the essence of hope, joy, peace and love, be born in us this year, this day, in this moment. Go with God, for God goes with you, always. Amen, amen, and amen. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Molly, your turn! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, everyone! Merry Christmas! Thank you! I... Merry Christmas, everybody! Merry Christmas! Perfect! Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Happy Christmas, everyone! Merry Christmas from the Black family! So I just want to wish you all happy holidays! And we know that 2021 is going to be better. We just know it, don't we? Merry Christmas, Happy New Year! Bye! Bye-bye! Merry Christmas, everyone! Merry, Merry Christmas! Hello, my friends at Fairfield. Just wishing you a Merry Christmas and the blessings of the season. May you have joy and hope and peace and most importantly, love.